I was 10 years old, I was asked to speak in public for the first time to an audience of a significant size. Uh, so you make up with me and fan Regardless of whatever you may or may not think about Barack Obama and his policies and his presidency, again, I put it to you that there is a man who knows how to use language. This is what he came back with. I understand this argument about words not a matter of life. The most important thing that we can do right now is to re engage the American people in the process of governance, to get them excited and interested again in what works and what can work in our government, to make politics cool again and important again and relevant again. Don't tell me words don't matter. I have a dream. Just words. We always choose to be self-evident. All men are created equal. Just words. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Just words. Just speeches. It's true that speeches don't solve all problems. But what is also true is if we cannot inspire the country to believe again, then it doesn't matter how many policies and plans we have. And that is why I'm running for President of the United States of America. And that's why we just won eight elections straight because the American people want to believe in change again. Don't tell me where it's going to happen. Passionate. I'm not saying we all have to suddenly become like President Obama. We couldn't. He is what he is, and we are what we are. Polonius is a vice to Hamlet, to thy own self be true. Could not be more true. But we can learn from that, and the passion and the, and the enthusiasm. Well, we know the result, don't we? Twice elected president. He persuaded vast swathes the American population to vote for him with his passion and his enthusiasm. <coughs> And did you also hear the way in which he used language? And any fans of ABBA? Yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give <laughs> now and now. It's tiny. I still don't know it to be more. Vomited off the train and, and starts coming towards you like this, and you are a fish swimming upstream. I like that little mind, I've tried it three times. <laughs> but I'm not like this at home. Can you imagine what this would be like to live with? <laughs> How about it? I'm home. <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> they were in a lovely conference, it was quite hot. Some lovely moments in that, some absolutely lovely moments. As you can imagine, I see this on a very regular basis. I, I still marvel at the, at the fact that he did pause. And there was that wonderful pause with no sense of irony at all before the masters of communication. It's <laughs> <laughs> the other great moment where if you set something up to be your favorite quote, <laughs> in the history of the spoken word, and it's from Albert Einstein. Get it, I like it. <laughs> and then my favourite bit, my favourite bit, is I love the fact, I'm a big fan of gesture, I think it's important to use your gesture, use your body. I love the fact that he tried to demonstrate the number 13. <laughs> Possibly one other vital rule about speaking so that others listen is don't just finish on time, finish early. Lunch is scheduled for 13.15, I reckon it's about 13.12. That means I can bring this flight in early. We all like it when things finish early, especially when the temperature is sort of Singapore like it. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you all the best in your journeys of speaking so that others listen. Thank you.